Hey there everybody, it's the Rooster bringing you some more SOCOM 4 gameplay. Uh, right here we have a post-patch match of Suppression on Sacrifice. Uh, now this patch that I'm speaking of is the big, heavily touted uh, patch that was supposed to save the game. Um, it brings us such things as uh, the option to enable a center dot, which I have turned on in this gameplay. Um, it brings us a uh, fix for some of the camera issues. Uh, now, I, I myself have still noticed some camera problems. Uh, it doesn't seem to collide as bad. The camera kind of goes over the top of your character's head a little bit, but it's still an issue. It's, it's not a perfect camera by any means. Um, they fixed some of the stuff with how overpowered the PE4 or C4, if you're unfamiliar with the game. Um, it was kind of ridiculous. You could throw it really quickly out in the air and blow it up and <laughs> it just got a ton of kills but uh, a lot of people complained about that they've nerfed it some you can't throw it as far you can't throw it as fast um, it, it still can get you some kills but it's not anywhere near the beast that it was before um, it also uh, this patch enabled the uh, SOCOM Pro uh, DLC ability so we now have uh, our first DLC um, we have two new weapons, the M16 and the AK-47. A lot of people were mad that those weren't in the game just to begin with, but we have them now. Um, now, personally, I'm using the M16 right here. I don't really like either of these guns. Uh, the M16 is almost too accurate. It, it has very little leeway when you're using it. Uh, this was the first game, I think, uh, if I remember right, that I actually had the ACOG unlocked, which... I do like the ACOG a lot more. If I'm going to use the M16, I'll probably be using a lot of the ACOG. Uh, before, I was trying to use the center dot on it, and while it's very accurate, I mean, you really can't miss. If you miss, if you're not right on their body, you're going to miss, so there's very little leeway. Um, the AK-47 is actually just too inaccurate. I mean, there's times where you'll find a guy sitting still, have your center dot right on his back, and you're not that far away from him. Yeah. I mean, you're slightly out of SMG range, but it's still, it's, a, it's an assault rifle. It should still have range on him. You can tap fire that thing, you know, single shot, and it won't hit him. I mean, it took me 14 shots at one point to kill a guy that was sitting still, and he wasn't that far away. So, uh, it's fun to play around with these new weapons, but to be honest, I, I don't think they're worth it. I, I'd rather stick with my my ATAC or my FAMAS or guns that I actually like and can consistently do well with. Um, you know, like I said, I'm sure I'll still mess around with these two guns, but I don't think they're going to be in my bag of tricks for too much longer. I'm trying to mod them up to uh, mod 5 and see if I like them. Like, like this, I mean, I, I almost gave up on the M16 and, you know, modded it up finally to, you know, where I knew I had the ACOG unlocked, and I was like, ah, I'll give it another shot, play a game or two with the ACOG, and it definitely feels a lot better with the ACOG. I normally do not ever go into first person view with any of these assault rifles, but I kind of pretty much have to with the M16. Um, you, normally the only thing I go into first person view with is uh, sniper rifles. You don't need to with a sniper rifle, but um, I, I just, I'm not the kind of guy that wants to run around no scoping everybody or L1 scoping everybody with a sniper. I, I want to zoom in and I want to get a crosshair. Uh, I guess I'm old school like that, but it's just no fun for me to snipe if I'm going to run around and just no scope like having an assault rifle anyway. So, Also with the uh, DLC, we have some uh, new maps. I can't personally speak on these maps because I haven't played them. Uh, I don't know if they're not in the suppression rotation or, you know, if they're small maps. I don't even know. I mean, I do s search large suppression, so maybe I need to start searching some small maps I don't know but I haven't come across them um, I don't know if you have to go into one of the other game modes like bomb squad or you know something like that or go into the custom area I I'm not sure but I haven't run across these maps yet I haven't played a whole lot since the patch dropped on I think it was the 14th I've had a kind of a busy two weeks and kind of slowed down a little bit um, sorry for not posting any videos there for you know week and a half but uh yeah like i said things got a little away from me so uh kind of forgot about coming on here and posting some gameplays for you um i wanted to hop on mod up my weapons 
uh, you know, check out the M16, the AK-47, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that if I did post a video for you guys, it would be kind of relevant. Since the patch did drop, I didn't want to post one of my older gameplays and then speak of the patch. Might as well, you know, get a new one, show you the M16, that kind of stuff, show you the center dot. Uh, now, another uh, thing that they worked on is they adjusted some of the accuracies with some of the guns. I kind of personally, like I said, think, you know, wish they would have left it alone. I kind of was fine with how um, the accuracies were. I'll adjust to whatever they do. I mean,. You know, it's just like any other game, I'll adjust to the changes they make or how the accuracy is in the guns, but uh, they did play around with it a little bit with some of the guns. Uh, they've moved some of the strafing speeds. Um, you can strafe a little bit better. Uh, you can move backwards a little bit better. Um, if you were having an issue with that, I mean, they've tried to uh, fix that a little bit. Another thing that they did is uh, they changed some of the clan battle stuff. I personally haven't done any clan battles. Um, we kind of intended to when this game came out. And then the whole PSN outage kind of screwed things up. My friends kind of, you know, stopped playing. And a few of them went and joined another friend of ours clan and did some clan battles with him because we really didn't get anything going. Um, so I, I personally didn't get into the clan battle stuff on here. But they did change some of the stuff that was annoying some people on there. Some of the lobby stuff, um, that kind of stuff. They gave you the option to uh, turn off your XP. Uh, that pops up on the screen. I don't really know why you need that turned off. I don't. Some people thought it was distracting. If it's distracting you, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, or if you're just mad because it's kind of copying Call of Duty, I don't know. But um, I kind of like having that XP there. Yes, it's a kind of a cheap pat on the back that they kind of give in. I mean, that's you know, Call of Duty gets criticized for that a lot. That, you know, it doesn't really need to be there. It's to make you feel good about yourself. Ooh, I, I did something good. I got XP. But, you know, it's fine. It's in there. And it's nice to get a little, almost like a little achievement while you're playing the game. So, I definitely don't mind it. I'm not going to turn that off. They also patched uh, an issue with the mic where some players who had changed their control settings weren't able to use the mic I guess I don't know I, I'm I'm on default on the control settings so I didn't have that issue um, another thing that they uh, changed is they gave you the option to change your dead zone and acceleration uh, in your control scheme um, had that come out before the game came out I, I would have played around with it but I'm kinda the kinda person that once I find something that works I don't like to play around with it uh, the more you play around with your controls and keep switching it up the less time you're going to have to adjust to your controls. So if you find something that works, you're a lot of times better off to stick with it. Uh, some people have kind of said that it feels different. Um, the dead zone, the acceleration feels different than before they patched it. Like maybe it changed some of those settings and you do need to play around. Uh, it did feel slightly different to me, but I've kind of already gotten used to it again. So I'm just going to leave it right where they are. Um, so right now my dead zone and my acceleration are where they default to, I believe it's straight in the middle, and uh, my, you know, turn speed and my pitch, like, the, you know, like all that stuff is on the far right. It's completely maxed out on the two settings that were available to you before. Um, another issue that they uh, worked on is the late spawning, um, where I talked about in uh, my last video with uh, Classic, it was a big issue. Um, I've only played one or two matches of Cla uh, Classic since this patch dropped, and it didn't seem to be an issue that it was before. Um, I've noticed some late spawning just in general where you spawn into like a respawn game and your first spawn spawns you like nine seconds late or ten seconds late. But in terms of the consistently annoying late spawns that were there before, I, it doesn't seem to be as bad of an issue. So maybe they got to work on it a little bit more. But, you know, I might start hopping into Classic now that uh, they have that kind of fixed. I mean, that pretty much wraps up everything that I was wanting to talk about with the patch. I mean, there's a few other small little things like um, they increase the time it takes to do a victory dance and they cap the amount of times that you can do it for XP. Um, they also, you know, uh, change the when you settle to crouch, they made that a little bit better. You settle into crouch a little bit faster, that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's pretty much it with this patch. Um, you know, in future patches, really like said they're going to have the uh, party system, so hopefully that comes out soon because I know a lot of people need that one. Not, my friends don't play as much as they did before, so it's not as big an issue for me, but for some of you guys who still have a lot of your friends playing this game, 
uh, you know, you definitely, definitely, I know, are waiting on that party system patch. So hopefully that gets here soon. Um, now, if you have, um, you know, this game and you bought it new and you don't know, have your M16, you don't have your AK-47, you know how to get it. Um, if you have your SOCOM Pro code enabled uh, already and you're waiting on that DLC, just go ahead and go into the PlayStation Store. There's an option in the game, or you can go straight through the PSN, you know, and into the PlayStation Store. Uh, look up SOCOM 4, um, you know, add-on content. There'll be uh, the option to download that kind of stuff. So you can download your M16 and your AK-47, give it a shot, give it a try, see if you like it yourself. Um, you know, other than that, there's not really much to talk about. The gameplay's ending here. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, some of you guys have shown me some support. Um, I want to keep this going. Uh, I want to start to do this a little bit more. I know I kind of stopped for a little while there. Like I said, I, had, I was in one of my friend's wedding. Uh, I had my birthday just happen and some other stuff. It, it was a busy week and a half. So um, I, I want to, you know, like I said, start to do these a little more often. I'm kind of tired of just playing games and having nothing to show for it. Um, I know this doesn't really count as something to show for, but it, at least it's something recorded there I can go back look at. Um, you know, it's not just like playing and wasting that time. So um, I want to thank you guys, like I said, for watching this, uh, giving me comments, you know, rating, subscribing. I, I've already got way more subscribers through three videos, you know, than I, what I thought I was going to have. So um, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, stick with me and I'll bring more stuff to you. Uh, peace.